welcome to this one. Well, my name is Joe, and today's little adventure, I'm actually heading to central London to check out a particular bookstore that's closing down. Actually, scrub that, it's not closing down, it's relocating to a different location. And it's called Stanford's. Now, I got onto this from the Londoners, I'll link the article below. It sounds like a really, really good store to quickly visit before they do relocate, because in this particular store, they've been there since the 1900s. The reason why Stanford's is such an iconic shop is because they have the biggest collection of travel books, globes and maps. Let's go! had a bit of a wander around this store. They've got maps from historical maps, kids maps, uh, actually really practical maps. I saw some maps from around Nepal, maps could go hiking in, bike maps. It's probably maps which are slightly better than what you find on Google. As well as being a bookstore with loads of cool travel books, your Lonely Planets and whatnot, there's also loads of people who've written travel books and it's just immense. I feel, already, feel really inspired, but my biggest highlight is actually just checking out some of the more historical maps. I'm on the first floor at the moment and they've got the old cloth style maps from back in the day. It has a really like strong leather feel look to it. And uh, I'm seeing some of the maps dated from the like 1500s here. So if you're a bit of a historical cartographer um, nerd, definitely come here. You'll probably absolutely geek out on all of the maps here. And if you're looking for like a map for for yourself, they can print some pretty epically massive maps here. What I'm really thinking about buying actually is the globes in the basement. They've got some pretty cool ones, and I fancy getting myself um, one of those globes to put in in the corner of my room. They also do events here, so I've noticed that they were doing a signing for Michael Palin's new book. If you go to their website, apparently they have loads of different different types of events. That's it, that's my little walk around the Stanford bookshop. If you're a big fan of bookshops, let me know where to go also in London and also in your own country. I'd love to hear some tips on where to go for these type of things. Um, I'm really getting to go into like historical bookstores and bookshops, historical like libraries. So if you have any tips on where to go, definitely let, let me know in the discussions below. Um, you never know. I might actually uh, like build a list of all the discussions and all my findings. If that's something that interests you, um, then let me know. I'll build a make a separate video about that and do some research. Uh, I like doing the more informative pieces, so hopefully over the next couple of months I'll do even more of that. And before I go, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.